Hi, I'm Phil from Driftworks. This is my buddy Jay, and this is my V10 M3. Welcome back. Thank you to those of you that uh, subscribe and especially those of you that buy from driftworks.com help support all the stupid stuff that we do here. Um, yeah, this episode we're looking at finishing the front panel, doing some brakes, which I know you probably think is quite unimportant because we should be focusing on trying to start it. No, we're not starting it in this video, but maybe, maybe, next time. maybe it's going to be a bit quicker than we thought. Maybe. So yeah, do make sure you're subscribed and uh, have your notifications on on YouTube. But yeah, lots of stuff going on in this video and uh, most of it's done by Jay. So thanks again, Jay. And I'll leave you with him. I feel like we may have been here before. Well, we definitely have been here before. So we took out the old MK20 ABS system um, when this exhaust got made, because it was in the way. And Phil wanted an MK60 anyway. So from BMW now, we've got the updated brackets for the MK60. We've got a master cylinder, or a servo even, and a master cylinder for an MK60. We do have an MK60 control unit, but it's not a programmable one, so that isn't ideal, but I'm going to use that to uh, mock up so I can make all the brake pipes again, again, again. So it turns out the control unit we have is completely different. Mounting to the M3 one that we need. Perfect. I tried to lacquer the front panel yesterday. The lacquer turned to like sludge for some reason when I put the hardener in so I've taken that back and got new lacquer but I can't do that today because the guys are working in there and they don't want to hoof up lacquer all day I guess oh let's uh, I guess I might as well finish bolting the uh, at least the servo in and then I'll find something else to do okay the work wheels have gone out so we're finally in a position where we can paint that front panel or lacquer it at least so uh, I've got it set up out there warming up in the sun a bit I'll mix the lacquer and hopefully it won't go to a lumpy sludge this time like it did the other day wish me luck looks promising guy at the shop told me no thinners on this one so I'll trust him I'll trust him and we'll see how the first couple of coats comes out and if it comes out all lumpy I'll thin one down and put a last coat on I've just done the first coat. I'm not the biggest fan of how this is coming out of the gun. It's, it's thick, but it seems to level out quite well. Just goes on pretty horribly, but I think I'm going to thin down the second coat a bit and do it the way that I'm used to. They're not too bad though. <laughs> In the dark, the bits I can see anyway. You can hear old Taylor revving something up like a schoolboy. It's not gone too badly, not perfect, but nothing a few hours with 2000 grit and a polisher won't fix next week. There we go, back on the car. I wasn't exactly happy with the finish, it looked a bit like the surface of the moon in places, so I've made it down with 1200 grit. I'm going to do a bit of two, well, I'm going to go over that with 2000 grit, then maybe 3000 if I can find a sheet here. Hit it with the G3, and then hopefully I'll have a bit of shine to it. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That's enough for that one-handed. Okay. We got there in the end. I think that's a acceptable level. Right, let's move on to something different. I think it's time to get on with the brakes. We've got the MK60 ABS unit now. That seems to have turned up over the weekend. So I'm gonna fit that and then we'll have a look at the brake pipes. Okay, I've done a little bit of fiddling about, found some new bolts, mounted the thing. These two pipes are labeled V and H, uh, which is German. Um, H is hinter or behind. V is 
for Vorvorder Seite, I believe is the front. Forgive, forgive my German. Um, Eine Bratwurst mit Pommes bitter. That's pretty much all I need normally, but it's time to find some fittings for these. I believe they're M10 and 12s. So hopefully we've got some left over because this is the, oh, I don't know, how many times have I done this? You like, if you've been watching for 400 years. Um, this is probably the third or fourth time I've done this on this car. Hopefully this is going to be the last. Anyway, let's find some fittings and roll out some pipe. All right, all right. Step away from your keyboards. I'm not going to give you twerps the uh, joy of telling me I've done it wrong. This pipe needs to go here. Calm down, calm down, I'm gonna fix it. Eat it. I'm gonna to attempt to make this look as factory as possible, um, at least in the area of the uh, braking box in the engine bay. So I'm just gonna follow this picture here and route the pipes exactly the same way there. It looks like they come out of the ABS unit and they stack up vertically here, so. Okay, and then it's just a case of running them through into the engine bay. Right, no problem, no problem. This is just a piece of very flexible copper pipe that I'm going to use to make the template. Uh, we're going to be running the Cuprinol stuff, or Conifer, or whatever it's called. Conifer. Okay, I've got a plan, but what fills here, we're simply going to slip the manifold off. Yes, straight out of the front. Yeah. Yeah, because I can't get the uh, the front two brake pipes through and under the manifold in one piece. So it's got to come out of the way at some point. It's got no gaskets on it. So today's the day. Is there anything else we need to work out? Probably loads. Probably loads. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be on and off a few more times, basically, isn't it? Before yeah. We, before we actually put gaskets in it. But yeah, it's definitely a, bit, a good bit of timing for you with the brake pipes, I think, because you do need that bit of clearance. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. I mean, oops. However, we got it on. Just on the floor temporarily or something. Here we go on the first one. So I've roughed, roughed the shape out with a bit of welding wire and then I'm just bending the brake pipe to match that template. Hopefully it's going to work out. It's just a time consuming process, especially if you want it to look right. Hopefully this is the last joint or the last flare that I've got to put on anyway. Let's not forget to slip that on the right way around before we put the flare on. Beautiful. Right, complete. Got brake pipes again. Not too bad, don't look too closely. Just need to get a few clips to, well, some clip separator type things to keep all these the, a nice distance apart. Um, and the same across the back on the firewall there. Moving on, let's, uh, let's try and decide what I'm going to do next. I'm not sure where we're up to in uh, video land at the moment, but a couple of weeks ago we did a lot of messing about um, with wheel fitment and stuff and have decided that we're going to be using these AP calipers that we dragged out of stock. Or oh, Phil's stock of special bits anyway. So I'm going to get on with cleaning those up now. I found a way of blocking all of the ports up. I think we'll give them a good scrub first and a jet wash and then see how they look. If they need it, we can put them in uh, 
Craig's Vapor Blaster, although I don't really want to take the finish off because, you know, let's, let's not paint them if we don't have to. Let's hit him with the virus out. The backs don't look too bad, the fronts are still pretty manky. I think I'm going to try the fronts lightly in the blaster and we'll see if it takes the finish off or not. Hopefully it won't. Well, fingers crossed. Probably not worth filming, I mean I can barely see myself using this thing so the camera will see even less. That was quick and disappointing. Your life, Jake. Yeah, quick and disappointing, yeah. Long and disappointing. It's taken the coating straight off in the area I tried, so back to the drawing board. We're not doing this. It's been decided that we're painting these. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. So I thought it's best to spend a bit of time now making sure all the pistons are free and we can get the bleed nipples out yeah. before I do that. Yeah, because they're, they're a bit old and crusty, but you know, I'm just working on the um, Alcon discs. Yeah. Uh, no, nice, simple, replace Alcon rotors for AP brakes. But now, we're going to end up making a new belt. So, I'm currently doing the drawings to create a new belt for some new rotors. Because, you know, I like to keep things simple. Is there a reason for that? Uh, because basically, to, this PCD is different on this belt for these rotors. And actually, to replace these cracked rotors, is way more expensive than just having some new bells made with the PCD for these. Which we already discs. had, so it's just a money yeah. saving thing. Yeah. yeah. I know. knew people would ask, so like, why don't you just they'll, replace them? They'll be dead confused, but you know, yeah. um, I'm just being, believe it or not, I have to be pretty tight with this. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not a bottomless pit of money for this, and essentially, we've already probably, it's probably. I don't know what is a hundred and fifty grand car that's probably worth about what thirty grand. So. Maybe, yeah. I mean, <laughs> some time has gone into it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I have to save some money in certain places, and this is yeah. one of them. <laughs> cool. Well, they've all been apart, all back together. It's now time to mask them up. I've, I've cleaned them off after making a complete mess of them with brake fluid, so another hot wash on the jet wash, more brake cleaner, but they are ready to mask. And we can finally get some paint on them. I got the black on them last night. Now it's time to attempt to fill the writing in with Phil's favorite blue, and then we'll give them a coat of proper lacquer and try and give them a bit of protection against any brake fluid that we spill on them, and then they can go back on the car. It's not going exactly to plan. I tried the technique with a little syringe. Unfortunately, not being an avid drug user, I don't have any needles, so the end is quite thick and it overflows. So I tried the little spike technique where you just basically dot the paint in from a little tip, which is better, but still it takes ages and still I've messed up the edges on the piece. So I've got a bit of cleaning up to do. Um, yeah, let me come up with a new plan. I'll clean these up and then if I actually figure out a technique that works nicely, I'll show you how to do it on the back too. I should just add, I know the answer is wipe it over with thinners, but because the black is uh, basically a base coat, the thinners will take the black off as well, so that's not ideal. Maybe I should have lacquered them first. I don't know. Okay, I think I've got the technique sort of sorted now. Turns out that if you use panel wipe and not thinners, you can just about take the blue off and not the black, so there we go. I'll, um, well, I've, I've reset this one. So give it a quick sand and another coat of black. So we'll line this one up and I'll show you how I did that. Well, here goes everything. As if by magic it's fixed. 
<laughs> Magic. Never mind. Right, on with the last one. Right, by the fifth go, by the fourth go actually, I got it pretty good. And by the fifth go, it came out pretty well. I say fifth go because I've done one of the front ones twice because it was that bad to start with. So there we go. I'll let that dry, have some lunch and we'll get some lacquer on it after. Okay, that's one coat of lacquer on. As you can see, it goes on wet, but it's probably hard to see with the camera. There's a bit that's drying. So you can see as it flashes off it, it goes dull. We don't need shiny calipers on this thing. The car's shiny enough. So those turned out pretty nice. Pretty happy yeah, with them. Yeah, came out all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're um, still waiting for uh, some custom bells to be made uh, by Martin Havlin from Rayland Racing. He's doing the bells for the front and I've just got some stock uh, rear E46 M3 CSL rear discs coming. But um, yeah, should be able to get that back together brake-wise pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, we'll probably call that this episode. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching Jay's misery. He loves a bit of painting as always. I love painting. <laughs> I don't like this video. You have, yeah, yeah. If, yeah. if there's one thing he wanted to not do when he came and worked for me, it was basically painting because that's what he hates. But, um, I hate sanding the most. Sanding, yeah. 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 So no, uh, thank you very much to Jay. Thank you very much to you guys for subscribing and for supporting us by buying through driftworks.com. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. It could be a quite exciting one, the next one. It will. Um, hopefully it'll be more exciting than watching, <laughs> watching paint dry quite literally sometimes. But yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Yeah.